Good morning, folks. We have several things to hit today. There was a geomagnetic storm yesterday. We've got flare risk, an earthquake, volcano, and some news at the galactic and cosmic level as well. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Even while we didn't have much in the way of flares, we had a northern filament eruption. It will miss Earth. We had a small CME arrive at Earth yesterday, and we've got one sunspot group that is menacingly more dangerous than the rest. Let's run down the space weather items here before we get to our other stories. That's the filament eruption up north, heading further northward and away from the Earth. The CME impact magnetic wake indeed lasted much of the day yesterday and ended up imparting a considerable coupling and disruption to Earth's magnetic field, which produced a low-level geomagnetic storm for several hours yesterday, is calming back down now. The big, multi-umbral sunspot group on the south must be monitored today for solar flaring. It's quiet the last day was nice, but it has considerable magnetic complexity. Flare risks exist where the blue and red opposing polarity spots are in close proximity. Top earthquake of the last day was a 6.4 that struck just a bit ago in Indonesia. It will take a couple more hours for any damage reports to come in from that one. There's smoke rising from the sea near Iwo Jima. The archipelago has the largest concentration of submarine volcanoes in the world. One of them went off. All ships are being steered clear of the area. An excellent paper out on earthquake forecasting. This one hits the VLF electromagnetic radiation that precedes bigger seismic activity. That was one of the first precursors ever discovered alongside total electron content. And in its furtherance here, we move another step closer to actual prediction. Let's jump out to the Milky Way, where Gaia has noted the orbital velocities of stars and determined where two separate material streams collided long ago and began to spin. The simulation of the formation process of our galaxy is one of the best to date because it relies on the velocity and orbital patterns of the stars we see now traced back over very long periods. Great work there. Jumping out much further and following up yesterday's quasar story, they found that the closest quasar to Earth, still very far away, is underperforming. This active galactic nucleus is eating a ton of material, but its jet and surrounding influence remains modest only. Blue here is Chandra's X-ray detection, and the red is the radio jet signal. Lastly, folks, it looks like all of you and many more caught last night's Safe Zones video. If any of you happen to miss it, please watch it. And if you are bored today, please help me tell the commenters to do the homework. Very sick of typing that in the comments. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on that sunspot. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.